In the dense forested heart of eastern India lies a forgotten world carved in stone. For centuries, these enigmatic chambers were sealed behind an ancient metal gate, untouched by time, silent, mysterious, and fiercely protected. Now, after decades of speculation and secrecy, scientists have finally breached the barrier. What they've uncovered may forever change what we thought we knew about India's ancient past. This isn't just another cave. The Bara Caves, largely overshadowed by more famous sites like Ajanta and Ellora, have remained hidden in plain sight, guarded by thick vegetation, political unrest, and a sheer lack of archaeological access. But what lies inside has left researchers stunned. Sacred geometries etched into basalt walls, millennia-old inscriptions in forgotten dialects, and, most startling of all, indications that this site may predate India's earliest written records by centuries. What secrets are these stones whispering after all this time? At first glance, the iron gate sealing the cave's mouth seemed modern, a colonial remnant perhaps, but metallurgical analysis revealed something far more surprising. The gate was composed of a high phosphorus wrought iron, remarkably resistant to corrosion. It's similar to the Iron Pillar of Delhi, known for its rust-proof composition. How did ancient artisans, more than 1,500 years ago, achieve such a feat without modern technology? Behind this gate was a passage sealed for centuries. Once pried open, it revealed an unspoiled system of rock-cut chambers stretching deep into the hillside, the air thick with centuries of silence. And then, the carvings. On the cave walls were lines of script that baffled linguists. Initially dismissed as early Brahmi or Prakrit, further studies suggest they belong to a transitional dialect, possibly a regional precursor to Ashokan script. If confirmed, this would place the cave's origins several centuries earlier than previously believed. But here's the twist. Some inscriptions reference astrological events that occurred nearly 3,000 years ago. One particular panel seems to track the retrograde motion of Jupiter using stellar alignments unknown in mainstream Vedic astronomy. Could this cave have been a center of observational science long before recognized Indian observatories like Ujjain? This evidence isn't merely textual, it's architectural. A central chamber, almost perfectly spherical, serves as the focal point of the cave system. On the ceiling, a meticulously carved mandala, aligned with the cardinal directions and solstices. During the winter solstice, sunlight reflects through a narrow shaft illuminating only the center of this dome. Recent laser mapping by the Archaeological Survey of India confirms these geometries are not accidental. They align with both lunar and solar calendars, indicating a sophisticated understanding of timekeeping, perhaps even a ritual calendar system lost to history. And beneath the floor? Ground-penetrating radar has revealed an unusual magnetic anomaly suggesting the presence of a buried chamber or ferrous object still sealed beneath solid basalt. What lies underneath remains unknown, for now. Even more astonishing were the fragments found tucked in alcoves, residues of charred organic matter, grain husks, incense resins, and even traces of ancient oils. Radiocarbon dating places these materials as early as 1100 BCE. This is centuries older than any previously recorded occupation of this region. These weren't just living quarters, this was a ceremonial site, likely monastic, perhaps pre-Buddhist, and eerily untouched. Most caves in India that show religious iconography have been reshaped over time, repurposed by later Buddhist, Jain, or Hindu sects. But the Bara Caves? They show none of this layering. Their integrity is pristine. As one archaeologist noted, it's like walking into a time capsule sealed by human hands and forgotten by the ages. Some experts have begun drawing connections between the Bara Caves and other enigmatic cave systems, like the Udayagiri Caves in Madhya Pradesh, or even the Barabar Hills in Bihar, the latter famously referenced in the Edicts of Ashoka. But Bara's architecture is uniquely minimalist. 
There are no grand facades, no ornate pillars. It's the simplicity that makes it profound, function over flair. Could this minimalism hint at a proto-monastic culture? A spiritual order focused less on spectacle and more on silence, meditation, and astronomical alignment? There's a tantalizing parallel here. The cave systems of the Andes and Mesoamerica often served dual purposes, both spiritual sanctuaries and observational outposts. Might the same be true here? But why was the site forgotten in the first place? It's here that history collides with geopolitics. The Bara region, nestled within the borderlands of Jharkhand and Bihar, has been historically underdeveloped, riddled with mining interests and insurgent tensions. Archaeological work was nearly impossible for decades due to safety concerns. Ironically, it was this very inaccessibility that shielded the cave from looting, over-tourism, and the heavy hand of religious reinterpretation. Left alone, it kept its secrets intact. Now, with recent efforts to stabilize the region, researchers finally have access, and what they're finding is reshaping timelines. For now, the site remains under restricted access as further studies unfold. International teams from Germany and Japan are collaborating with Indian researchers to decode the inscriptions, map the magnetic anomaly, and determine the extent of this underground world. And here's the kicker. The Bara cave complex might just be the tip of the iceberg. Local legends speak of 12 mouths of stone scattered throughout the forests, each one a gateway to the knowledge of the ancients. Only three have been located so far. What if this was part of a larger network, a lost university, a ceremonial grid, or something even more profound? The cave has spoken for the first time in thousands of years, but its final story is still locked in stone. But just when scientists thought they had reached the pinnacle of ancient discovery by unlocking that sealed metal gate, a new revelation stunned the archaeological world. Deep in an uncharted cave system, researchers stumbled upon something even more baffling, evidence of a lost civilization with no trace in any known record. The mystery only deepens from here. Nobody builds something that big underground just for fun. You don't do that unless you have to. Right. You don't burrow like a human ant nest. Yeah. Human beings are so weird in so many ways. Yes. The story of the Longyu Cave's discovery begins quite unassumingly with Wu Anai, a local farmer in the small village of Xi'an Beikun in Zhejiang Province, China. This region, picturesque with its lush landscapes and traditional farming, was not known for archaeological treasures. It's really important to understand that archaeology um, is often driven by accidental finds. However, the persistent issue of a village pond that wouldn't dry up, despite extensive efforts to pump it for irrigation, piqued the curiosity of Wu and his neighbors. Determined to find the reason, they funded the use of rudimentary pumps, and after 17 days and over 20,000 cubic meters of water pumped out, they uncovered what appeared to be a man-made cavern entrance, revealing the first of the Longyu Caves, later dubbed Cave One. Someone made it, yeah. and it involved a very large amount of organized labor. There had to be the will and the intent in order to do that. This cave, an architectural wonder with exquisite hand-chiseled carvings, stairways and sturdy columns, was just the beginning. Word of this remarkable find spread rapidly across the region, capturing the imaginations of both the public and the academic world. The discovery was so stirring because of its unexpected nature and the sheer magnitude of the caves. Motivated by the initial find, the local community continued to fund the exploration, and by the end of 1992, four more caves had been identified. There's a bunch of these things. There's a bunch of things like that. They, they're just like, uh -huh. Each cave was unique in design and hinted at a sophisticated yet mysterious civilization that had left no other record behind. Recognizing the potential historical and cultural significance of these caves, 
The Chinese government quickly stepped in. They took measures to protect the site and supported further scientific studies to explore these enigmatic structures more thoroughly. This governmental intervention mirrored the actions taken after other major archaeological discoveries in China, such as the Terracotta Army, uncovered by local farmers in Shangxi in 1974. It's a wonderful mystery and, and it deserves much further, much further attention. Both the Longyu Caves and the Terracotta Army were stumbled upon by locals engaged in ordinary tasks, yet these finds were anything but ordinary. The Terracotta Army, part of Emperor Qin Shi Huang's mausoleum, features thousands of life-sized statues, each detailed with unique facial expressions and attire, clearly a tribute to the Emperor's military forces. In contrast, the Long Yu Caves, with their vast underground spaces expertly carved from solid rock, offer no such clues about their creators or their purpose, remaining shrouded in mystery. We are just, I think, looking at the edges of a mystery. The archaeologists involved feel the same. These discoveries significantly shifted our understanding of their respective eras. The Terracotta Army provided a window into the military aesthetics and rituals of the Qin Dynasty, while the Long Yu Caves have puzzled historians due to their lack of any historical documentation. Both sites have undergone intense scholarly scrutiny and ongoing research as experts from around the world try to uncover the secrets they hold and the stories they might tell about the ancient peoples of China. These caves were cleverly concealed by the mountainous landscape and dense vegetation, which likely played a role in keeping them hidden for centuries. The region's rocky terrain further protected these man-made wonders from natural erosive forces, preserving their pristine condition through the ages. Advancements in technology have significantly aided in the exploration and mapping of these caves. Techniques such as laser scanning and ground-penetrating radar have been crucial in providing detailed information about the cave's dimensions and layout. Initially, surveys indicated that the caves covered an area of approximately 30,000 square meters, but ongoing exploration might extend this figure as more sections are discovered. The architectural consistency observed across the Longyu Caves is truly remarkable. Despite varying sizes and designs, each cave exhibits uniform craftsmanship with flat bases for pillars and symmetrical spacing of architectural elements. This uniformity suggests they were likely constructed under the centralized direction of a single authoritative entity, possibly a local ruler or a unified government during that era. The choice of siltstone for construction, a material easier to carve than granite or basalt, allowed for the creation of smooth walls and intricate carvings, showcasing an advanced understanding of material properties and structural engineering. This is evident in the high ceiling supported by massive stone pillars designed to distribute weight evenly throughout the caverns. The caves are not only a feat of engineering but also of artistry. The internal structures include complex water channels that likely serve to prevent flooding and maintain a stable internal environment, alongside ornate gutters and meticulously carved bridges that enhance both the functionality and aesthetics of these spaces. The scale of excavation involved is staggering, with an estimated 1 million cubic meters of rock removed using basic iron or bronze tools. This massive endeavor would have required thousands of laborers over several decades, if not centuries, highlighting the significant human effort and organization required. Detailed examinations of the tool marks and techniques on the cave walls offer archaeologists valuable insights into the technological capabilities of the time. Furthermore, carbon dating of some cave sections indicates their construction dates back to at least the Eastern Zhou Dynasty over 2,000 years ago, this ancient origin adds to the mystery and allure of the caves. The Long Yu Caves, with their vast chambers and no historical records to explain their construction, have sparked a plethora of theories about their original purpose. One popular theory is that the caves were used as ancient storage silos. Researchers supporting this idea point to the stable temperature and humidity levels inside the caves, conditions ideal for storing perishables. The interior layout, featuring platforms and ledges, seems perfect for organizing goods, while the intricate water management systems might have been designed to control moisture levels, ensuring that stored items remained preserved. Another theory suggests that these caves served as royal tombs or burial sites for nobility. This wouldn't be out of place in ancient traditions worldwide, where elaborate resting places were often constructed for the elite. 
The extensive labor and detailed craftsmanship involved in creating the Long Yu Caves imply they were built for significant individuals. However, the complete absence of artifacts or human remains commonly found in other tombs casts doubt on this theory. Some believe the caves had a religious or ceremonial purpose, considering how their secluded and quiet interiors would be suitable for spiritual activities. This aligns with the global historical trend of using caves for such purposes. The uniform design and orientation of the caves could suggest they were specifically planned for processions or religious ceremonies, although the lack of religious symbols or artifacts challenges this theory. A more practical perspective is that the caves were quarries. The theory posits that the caves were originally mined for stone, used in early Chinese imperial construction projects, though it doesn't account for why the stone wasn't used in any known structures nearby. Lastly, a more speculative idea is that the caves functioned as ancient astronomical observatories. Some suggest that the orientation of tunnels and openings within the caves aligns with specific celestial events, much like other historic astronomical sites. But what's fascinating about them is this very powerful geometry and astronomy. This would imply a sophisticated understanding of the stars by the creators of the Longyu Caves, though hard evidence for this theory is still lacking. When we compare the architectural marvels of the Longyu Caves in China with Petra in Jordan, also known as the Rose City, we dive into a fascinating study of ancient ingenuity and artistic mastery. Petra's structures are famously carved into the blush-colored sandstone cliffs, reflecting the elaborate and ornate aesthetic of the Nabataeans around the 5th century BCE. Its most iconic structure, the treasury, is a perfect example of this with a facade that is both monumental and intricately detailed, highlighting the peak of Nabataean craftsmanship. In contrast, the Longyu Caves are sculpted from siltstone, a material that presents different challenges and opportunities for the carvers. The finer grain of siltstone allowed ancient workers to achieve smooth finishes and sharp details in the cave walls and columns, offering a different kind of beauty from Petra's elaborate sandstone carvings. Unlike Petra's diverse architectural purposes, the Longyu Caves exhibit a uniform design across all the caverns, suggesting they were built with a singular purpose or design philosophy in mind. Both Petra and the Longyu were lost to the world until their relatively recent rediscovery. Petra was brought back into the public consciousness in 1812 by Swiss explorer Johann Ludwig Burckhardt, and since then it has reshaped much of our understanding of Middle Eastern history. Despite the grandeur and historical significance of both sites, they share a profound mystery, the absence of detailed historical records explaining their construction. While Petra does have some inscriptions and texts that offer minimal insights, the Longyu Caves are surrounded by complete silence in historical records, with no writings found to date that reference their creation. This lack of documentation has left historians and archaeologists piecing together clues and forming theories that range from practical to speculative in an effort to understand these magnificent constructions.